Was Jesus a real person or is Jesus just a myth? Well, depending on who you listen to, you'll get different answers for this. If you listen to somebody like the well-known atheist Robert Price, he would suggest that yeah, Jesus was just a myth. He was conveniently invented by, by people who claimed Christianity uh, just to back up their claims to this worldview. Now, while these objections to the historical Jesus certainly do exist, uh, they, they are in the minority of opinions. The majority of scholars, whether they are Christian or not, believers or not, affirm that Jesus was indeed a real historical figure. But when we're wading through all the evidence, uh, what is valuable, what is not, uh, how, how can we prove from historical documents that Jesus was a real historical figure? Well, th there's some things that you can look at that maybe wouldn't be quite as helpful. Uh, there's a lot of writings of, of the rabbinic tradition uh, written by Jewish people. Uh, a lot of them were written in the late 2nd century A.D. and early 3rd century A.D., which right away tells you that there might be a problem with some of these. Uh, because this was w written well after Jesus was alive here on, on earth. Um, in addition to that, uh, if you know a little bit about the Jews and a little bit about the story of the Bible, the, the Jewish people were starkly opposed to Jesus. And, and so most of these writings are, are coming from the viewpoint of trying to uh, dissuade people from following Jesus and, and from following uh, Christianity in general. So they're, they're going to be written with a, a very biased view of, of everything. Uh, another uh, source that you, you might come across that uh, might seem valuable at first, but really isn't, is actually the, the Quran. The Quran written by uh, Muhammad, the, the holy book of, of the Islamic people, uh, actually references Jesus several times in there. Uh, but before you, you jump to it and say, see, th this proves it, uh, remember that, that the Quran denies that Jesus is God, it denies the Trinity, and it denies the fact that Jesus was crucified and died on the cross. You know, so it, it wouldn't be considered a reliable source for proving the historical Jesus. But there are a couple uh, writings that would help us in proving the historical Jesus. One of them is written by a, a Roman historian who lived from uh, the year 56 AD to 120 AD. His name was Tacitus, and he was considered one of the greatest Roman historians of all time. He wrote about all of the, the emperors uh, in, in the Roman government. Uh, in writing a, a part about uh, a man, the emperor named Claudius, he wrote this. Therefore, to squelch the rumor, Nero created scapegoats and subjected to the most refined tortures those whom the common people called Christians. Hated for their abominable crimes, their name comes from Christ, who, during the reign of Tiberius, had been executed by the procurator Pontius Pilate. Suppressed for the moment, the deadly superstition broke out again, not only in Judea, the land which originated this evil, but also in the city of Rome, where all sorts of horrendous and shameful practices from every part of the world converge and are fervently cultivated. This is a, a section of... Of writing from Tacitus and it should be noted that Tacitus was an unbeliever he did not believe in the triune God he did not believe in Jesus yet he, he talks about Jesus as a real historical figure he, he presents Jesus the one who was crucified by Pontius Pilate as a, a real figure that that shouldn't have any objection to that uh, another uh, ancient writing that would back this up would be from a couple selections from Josephus. Josephus was a, a Jewish uh, politician who lived from the, the year 37 AD to the year 100 AD, so around the time of Christ again, and, and people have considered Josephus one of the single most important Jewish historians in the history of the world. That there are two different quotes from one of his works called the Antiquities that would be a, of particular note for us. The, the first is him, Josephus, writing about a high priest named Ananias. 
He says, Ananus is a bold man in his temper and very insolent. He was also of the sect of the Sadducees, who are very rigid in judging offenders. Above all the rest of the Jews, as we have already observed, when, therefore, Ananus was of, of this disposition, he thought he had now a proper opportunity to exercise his authority. Festus was now dead, and Albin Albinus was but upon the road. So he assembled the Sanhedrin of ju judges and brought before them the brother of Jesus, who was called Christ, whose name was James and some others. He delivered them to be stoned. In this section, you see Jesus referenced as the Christ, as a real historical figure, and talking specifically about his, his brother, James. Uh, another section of the Antiquities that Josephus wrote was this, At this time there appeared Jesus, a wise man, if indeed one should call him a man. For he was a doer of startling deeds, a teacher of people who received the truth with pleasure, and he gained a following both among many Jews and among many of Greek origin. He was the Messiah. And when Pilate, because of an accusation made by the leading men among us, condemned him to the cross, those who had loved him previously did not cease to do so. For he appeared to, to them on the third day, living again, just as the divine prophets and sp had spoken of these and countless other wondrous things about him. And up until this very day, the tribe of Christians, named after him, has not died out. This was uh, a, a section written by Josephus as well that, again, acknowledges that Jesus was a real historical figure. Um, now, now, this is the, the connection to ancient historians, but even uh, modern historians, modern people that, that take an interest in studying Christianity, but even don't agree with Christianity, will admit that Jesus was a real historical figure. Uh, Bart Ehrman is a very famous agnostic professor from the University of North Carolina, and he, he is not a believer. He is agnostic, meaning that, that he, does, he believes there is a God or there might be a God, but he doesn't know how to identify him, and he doesn't believe in Jesus as his God. But in, in this field of study, he is very uh, well-versed, and here's a quote from, from him. He says, The reality is that every single author who mentions Jesus, pagan, Christian, or Jewish, was fully convinced that he at least lived. Even the enemies of, Jesus, of the Jesus movement thought so. Among their many slurs against the religion, his non-existence is never one of them. Jesus certainly existed. Now, ultimately, uh, the, these historical uh, figures, ancient and modern, affirm that Jesus was a real historical figure. Uh, but they are not the final authority, nor the sole authority, nor the most important authority in this matter. Uh, of course, the most important authority in, in the matter of was Jesus a real historical figure is the Bible. <laughs> the Bible has extensive writings about Jesus. And even if you don't believe that Jesus, it, it, that the Bible is the Word of God, the, the texts of the New Testament are at the very least historically reliable. Uh, but if you do, if you do believe that the Bible is the Word of God, then you know in your heart that Jesus was truly a historical figure, but he was even more than that. He was, as Peter says in Matthew, he is the, the Messiah, the Son of God, and he is our Savior. But we'll talk about that in a later video. For now, you, you can rest assured from, from these minor excerpts, along with many others that you can dig into, Jesus was a real historical figure. The, the historical accounts agree with what the Bible says. And now the question is, what do we do with Jesus? And we'll wait for another video to, to answer that very question.